Hey everyone, I wanted to discuss accelerators uh, and the cancellation and all that. Uh, there's been a lot of videos on this, obviously. I haven't really done one myself. Uh, I've spent a lot of time around the community and stuff, and there's always been theories as to why Accelerators was cancelled. Um, some of it, people are like, yeah, there's sources for this. That doesn't necessarily mean that those sources are correct, or, you know, people can lie simply um i don't know if there's any like legitimate sources i've only just realized that power rage is in this photo twice despite the fact that it definitely was not in the movie that's fine <laughs> uh they really wanted to avoid spoilers but they put the drones in the accelerator whatever let's not get distracted let's do our best i'm very easily distracted now one of the leading theories is that Accelerators was too popular. I've heard this one a lot. Accelerators was too popular. Mattel shut it down. They did not want to have Accelerators more popular than Hot Wheels. And that's... Sounds funny. Um, people believe it. Um, does it sound believable? It sounds believable that Accelerations could be that popular. Maybe. I don't know. It's very popular among the louder parts of the community. However... Mattel aren't trying to ruin their business. They're not going to go, oh, this is popular. Let's shut it down. Let's make sure we make no money off this thing's popularity. Uh, so I do not believe for a second that that could possibly be it. Uh, and if you can find a source on it, maybe the source was lying. Um, maybe they weren't. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, this is all theory, right? All theory. Everything from here, nothing is confirmed. Uh, so yeah, it'd be nice if something was that popular that they cancelled it. That, that doesn't make sense. Look at Marvel, look at Star Wars. We don't cancel things that are popular. We make more of it and we milk every cent we can out of people until they get sick of it and then some more. Uh, the other theory is that it just didn't sell. Uh, this sounds a lot more believable. Uh, the reason that the Wave 2 cars are so rare is because shops didn't want them because they weren't selling the first ones. Uh, that That's a lot more believable. So either the show is so popular it was cancelled because it was too popular, or it is so unpopular that it didn't sell and they couldn't put more product on the shelves. You be the judge. Um, uh, the, the second seems a lot better, but I have a third theory. And it's to do with the leaks, right? We we did end up getting leaks on like Teku 7 and these other cars. I don't even know if these were named. Or motorbike and whatever the hell this is. Um, and then we also got these leaks, the toy line and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> this, this is where my theory comes in. And it is that we didn't get these cars... Not because they were too popular or because they were unpopular, but because someone showed Mattel these and Mattel was like, this looks like shit. Look at this. Do we genuinely want these as our cars? Like, they look like crappy plastic. Oh, they transform. No one asked for transforming into weapons and stuff like that or whatever it is they're supposed to do. The car's meant to transform to fit an action figure inside. This vert. All right, so if we look at this, uh, these missiles here, we get a rough scale of how big these characters are. Um, and they're bigger than a Hot Wheels car. So you can't open this up and use it as a mech suit for vert. That's going to come with like a mini vert. I swear, like, I don't, I don't know, man. It doesn't look like that vert fits, in, fits into that. I could be wrong. Maybe it does. Uh, I just don't think so. Maybe these are a little smaller than I'm expecting. Either way, they look like crap. <laughs> the faces look awful. They're just... Their scaling is wrong. They are not scaled to Hot Wheels cars. Okay. They are not the right size for Hot Wheels cars. Maybe they're the right size for the mech suits. I can't be sure. But they're not the right size for the Hot Wheels cars. And like, what is this? Is it meant to be a surfboard with wheels? Is that meant to be Vert's like gimmick here? And then that should close in on him. And yeah, he's got like a mech suit that has like a surfboard of wheels. It's like really on theme for Vert. You know what else is on theme for Vert? Driving. 
Uh, it looks like we were getting new cards too, uh, but I don't know how. I mean, I guess you would with all the new cards. Uh, that would probably be exactly how you do that. What about new realms? Do they have to do more realms? Uh, either way, this... My big belief is that this was cancelled because someone showed Mattel this. Someone showed Mattel this plastic crap. Sorry, Hot Wheels is die cast. These are plastic as hell. And you don't want them die cast because then they'd be too heavy to stand under their own weight. It just looks like dodgy plastic. And it looks like the most off-brand aftermarket toys I've ever seen. Banji's face looks all squished and weird. Uh, obviously, you know, I've already preloaded the images up, so I don't have to, like, move them around and stuff. But if you find these pictures, have a look. Banji's face is weird as heck. All their faces are a bit off. Like, I just... They seem not right. <laughs> Uh, and it looks like there's weighty issues, right? You put this big jetpack on Bert, Bert's back. Bert's back. <laughs> He's not going to stand straight anymore. You're going to have to have him bend over all like this, do it his Naruto run, just so that he doesn't fall over under the weight of the backpack that comes with him. Anyway, it's, I guess that's a quick video. I, I, I can understand why you would cancel this. If you had a successful series like Accelerators, and then you walk into Mattel with like, all right, series two of Accelerators. We start with these figures. And immediately you're like, ah, I'm not sure about these figures, man. I'm not sure. This is a car show. What do you got for cars? And it's like, yeah, we got cars. We got cars. We got these. And this that looks like it's broken in the packet, okay? It looks like the moment you pull it out, it's just going to fold open and fall open and stuff. It's like, it doesn't look good. We go from these cars that looked amazing, most of. Uh, like, so amazing looking cars to these just off theme crap. Like, it's just, these don't look like Hot Wheels cars. They look like just... Plastic garbage off-brand stuff that you'd expect to find in the aisle across from Hot Wheels. Where it's like, yeah, they're cars, but ah, if someone steps on it, it's going to shatter. And that's it. If you step on Teku 7, it's in bits. There's, i got a reverb here. I could stomp on this for a day. Not an issue. I was going to, but I'm not even wearing shoes. Like, I could, this thing is taking a beating, Okay. I had this as a kid. I've thrown it at things. I've launched it off things. I promise you that if this crap fits on a track, which it looks like it probably wouldn't because it is too wide. If this crap fits on a track, it would break so easily. All the hinges and stuff, it just doesn't look well made. Simple as that. These look so poorly made. Um, as for these, yeah, these don't look like they break, but they look so like crap for action figures right this is the company that gave us like like these are from uh a action man set i'm pretty sure it was like a gatling gun that you would stick on his arm and you'd rotate it and it would fire like these exact missiles i swear uh or gi joe like around that era uh we had different gi joes in australia uh look i'll just I'll get toxic to show you what we had because your G.I. Joe's and our G.I. Joe's were very, very different. Ours were like small figures, not small, but like the standard, like the same as Star Wars size figures, right? Um, I'll send the images through to him. Uh, whereas you guys had like the big guys, which we had for Action Man, which was, you know, cool. Um, and that, that's where you get these missiles from, is from the big Action Man ones. It's like the same design. Uh, I'll find that toy too and send that through to the editor. So that should be on your screen somewhere. Um, that, that's pretty much it. I don't have too much more to say than that other than the fact that I genuinely believe that these look like these were cancelled because they look like crap. Who wants this? Who was like, oh yes, give me these figures. I wouldn't want these figures. I want them now because they're a collector's item because there's only been like one printing of them. If I get it, if I had an opportunity, I'd get them because they're just prototypes. But 
They maybe maybe they look like crap because they are prototypes. Uh, it looks like Beji's helmet comes off, and that's probably why his head is so squished. Um, I think they should all have helmets with them. But like, let's also look at their weaponry. What is this? What is he carrying? No, I can't tell you either. I could not figure it out. Uh, the the what are these? It's just bits of scrap that Torx picked up off the ground. This is a traffic light thing. It's like the back of Sparky, right? Like Sparky's got that on his back that he, whenever he like emotes and does his thing, it pops up. Uh, that that's what I'm seeing there. This is some sort of like wing pack with a missile on it. Except the missile was like really weirdly shaped. Maybe it's more of a net. I don't know. Uh, this is this is cool. <laughs> this is a skateboard. Let me continue. This is a skateboard with a motor on it, like a car motor, not like a motorized skateboard. This is like a proper, like, engine. This is like a motorbike engine on this skateboard, man. This is the sickest and most marky thing I've ever seen, okay? You want a Mark Wild figure, he's got the robot arm, he's got the skateboard, the... Fucking motorbike engine skateboard with big ass tires on it. This is cool. This is the one cool thing they did from this. And you know what they should have done? Instead of putting a figure out, make this the car. Like, release this as a mainline car. This is sick. I love it. Uh, s someone on Reddit does like customs of a lot of these. Um, uh, like, does customs of like, they've done Titanium, they've done Techie 7. Do this for me, man. Whoever it is. Uh, I think it's uh, Leap Helipe. I, I don't know. Anyway, do this. I want to see. That's a custom I'd love. Uh, the motorized skateboard. What connects this to the rest of it? Do the wheels not turn? Oh, they wouldn't turn. They're not attached to anything. It, it needs the wheels to turn. Uh, you need, like some sort of like connection or, or maybe the backside has a connection i don't know you don't really get to see it uh this is another little like rideable something or rather here it's got like little scooter wheels on the front and possibly a big wheel on the back but what the hell is it it looks like is, is it a bin lid are we just riding around on a bin lid like, what is this i don't know what what is this see missile backpack makes sense all right it's a drone missile backpack this is just a thing. Uh, unfortunately, the only high-res images are this. It's, I haven't cut things off here. This is just the high-res stuff. Um, that, that's pretty much it, guys. Like, I just... I don't believe that this was... cancelled because everyone was like, Oh, that's, that's too good, man. I, I think someone showed this to Mattel. And Mattel said, What the hell is on Pork Chop's back? Where's his anchor? Give him an anchor. There's a weapon for Paul Job. But more importantly, make the figures small. I, I don't want... Look, some people are like, oh, posable figures. Posable figures were all the rage, sure. It was like early 2000s. People love these things. But this is not the size that goes with a Hot Wheels car. I want a little vert, even if he's like not posable, to just stand next to my car. Uh, if we look at Tesla posting, uh, K Powers has a collection of these little things that have been custom made and they look amazing. And I would absolutely take those any day as part of like, you get the car and the driver over this. These would be just not good. The scaling, the scaling is the biggest issue. They don't scale with anything and they just look like they're bad product. Um, they don't look enough like the characters, which I guess in 2005, you can't expect too much. But Star Wars did it. Like, Star Wars was releasing very accurate faces on their characters back in this era, which was, uh, I think, around uh, Re Attack of the Clones slash Return of the Jedi. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And more importantly, though, the cars, man. The cars look like crap. 
I just, I would not, I would have bought this because it's got this damn logo on it. But these, these are awful. And hey, maybe that's the reason the series was cancelled. Because someone was like, we can't sell these toys no matter how good you make the series. Anyway, I've rambled on for 15 minutes now. Feel free to give me your ideas. Do you actually enjoy these? Maybe you do. Uh, not going to blame you for liking them. I can... This looks cool. The little motorbike thing that I've cut off with my face because I have to put my face in things. Looks kind of cool. Um, and the idea of the drone one turning into like a flying drone. Cool. Cool idea. They're cool ideas. Terrible execution. Why is it a skateboarding mech suit. I get it, but I just don't like it. <laughs> and I just, I don't see this little car, a standard car like this, transforming into something big enough for Vert here to fit into. Especially that small. It'd have to be a small Vert, like that size? Cool. Awesome. You give me a Vert that size to go with my reverb, I'm happy. I'm so happy. But that's about it, man. I just, I don't know. Maybe that's why it's cancelled. If it was up to me, I would have cancelled the series based on this. Uh, or be like, go redo it. Just do it again. Uh, however, speaking of do it again, over the coming weeks, I'm going to be working on a couple of videos where I want to discuss the potential reboot of the accelerators. Uh, Mattel is obviously looking at it as an idea, I don't think they're going to go through with it. It's probably a very bad idea on their side. Uh, as much as we want it, I can't promise that it's the best thing for the company. But I just realized I could have just bashed the reverb with this, right? Just give it that one. Not going to because it's not on theme anymore. Um, but yeah, so. But yeah, if I did that to a Tekken 7, but, uh, at least this one didn't look too plasticky, but it still doesn't look good. Um, it's, yeah, I, none of the cars that they showed for these look good. Uh, whereas 99% of the other ones were just great. Anyway, we'll discuss potential reboot ideas in future videos. Uh, I'm kind of done with Hot Wheels Unleashed because Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 is coming and I'm not buying it. Um, for those that are still buying it despite everything, consider not pre-ordering so that Milestone can at least feel the consumer base not buying their game. If you pre-order them, they're like, ah, we've already sold this many copies. We don't even need to put effort in. We can stop making the game. So please, please don't pre-order. Don't pre-order any game. Let's be real. I'm sorry, I don't care how good the pre-order bonus is. Pre-ordering games leads to things like DLC that is available from day one um, or pre-buying DLC and all this sort of stuff. It leads to so many issues with the game. It leads to features being taken out. No pre-order games. But that's not what we're talking about here today. We're talking about the Accelerators uh, stuff. <laughs> I just... Maybe it was... No, I don't think it would have been... We are going to wrap it up here. I just wasted another four minutes of your time talking about how much I've talked about. Uh, we'll see you all next time. And yeah, as I said, we will discuss, I will discuss potential reboot ideas, things that I think should happen uh, if we were to restart this series. Toodaloo, give me your suggestions. I'd love to like take some ideas from you guys uh, and put them back in. Obviously, none of these images are mine, yada yada. Uh, these images have been around for a long time. Toodaloo.